For as long as I can remember, the X-Men have been a huge and crucial part of the Marvel Universe. However, over the past few years, things have gotten, well, a little bit convoluted, to say the least. However, today we are going to break down four great starting points that you can pick up right off the bat and you can enjoy, even if you are just the newest of the new X-Men fan. So, ladies, gentlemen, and fellow mutants, let's talk about the X-Men today. First things first, we're going to start off with the legendary Chris Claremont. Now, if you've never heard of Chris Claremont, what are you doing? And if you've been reading comics for a long time, this is a name that you absolutely, absolutely should know. Now, Chris Claremont is credited by a lot of fans as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, X-Men writer of all time. Suffice to say, through Chris Claremont's huge, huge run on the X-Men, he was able to introduce things such as the Dark Phoenix, he was able to give more depth to a lot of the female characters, including Storm, he was able to really flesh out the background of Wolverine, and just so, so, so much more. Chris Claremont happens to be one of my favorite X-Men writers of all time, and I think that if you are really about to do a deep dive into the X-Men, this is the perfect place to start, because a lot of the stuff that's being mined today came from this specific run. Next up on my list goes to Grant Morrison. Yes, the Grant Morrison new X-Men run. Grant Morrison, when he first came on to do the X-Men, was tasked with bringing the X-Men into the 20th century. And he did so in a very big way. Right off the bat, he goes big. I won't spoil what happens, but I will say it is nuclear. What I really like about Grant Morrison's run on new X-Men is that he really fleshes out the emphasis of being at a school. He introduces different classes. He introduces different types of mutants. He introduces introduces mutants that aren't really the most prettiest looking ones. He introduces mutants that have a lot of deformities and they really are just plain out ugly looking. For those of you that do have experience with Morrison and you're wondering, well, Morrison tends to kind of go a little bit out there. Fear not, this run is pretty Morrison light. It's it's pretty accessible as far as all the things that Morrison has done. So you can jump into this and you'll be pretty good to go. After that, my next recommendation is the Joss Whedon and John Cassidy run. If Whedon's name sounds familiar to you, it probably should, considering the fact that Whedon has been in charge of a lot of really cool geek properties, including Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Firefly, and oh yeah, the first Avengers movie. Now, Whedon's run I recommend that you read after you read Morrison's run. The reason behind this is that Whedon really takes a lot of the elements that Morrison was working with and he adds on to them. One specific thing that you're going to notice is the introduction of what's called a mutant cure. Now, if this sounds familiar to you, it's because it was kind of what they used for the premise of X-Men The Last Stand. If you guys remember that film, good god, I hope you don't because it was terrible, but that was a huge plot point from that film and they borrowed it heavily from this particular run. Not only that, but the Whedon run has one of my favorite climaxes in all of comics. It's a fantastic scene that involves Kitty Pride that I am not going to ruin here simply because it's so badass, but if you have read this run, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you aren't a fan, though, of Whedon's quippiness, this might not be for you. All the typical Whedon tropes are here, the way he writes characters, the way he writes female characters, and to a lot of people, eh, it's a bit too much, but I personally love it. My final choice. Now, this one is my favorite X-Men run of all time. I love this run. I, I, if anybody even asks me, where should they start with the X-Men, this is usually the first run that I start with. I'm talking about Uncanny X-Force by Rick Remender. Uncanny X-Force is, in my opinion, one of the most perfect X-Men runs and one of the most perfect comic runs that I've ever read. I love this run. It centers around Wolverine forming a mutant hit squad that is going after, what else? Mutants, other mutants or other problems in the world that are a little bit more edgier and they need a more permanent solution than just, well, we'll throw away the key and we'll lock them up. At the beginning of the story, Deadpool is doing reconnaissance duty for Wolverine. He soon finds out that Apocalypse is being reborn. Thus kicks off one of the most badass X-Men runs that I have ever read. Rick Remender is a master here. The way he fleshes out characters like Wolverine, Deadpool, Psylocke, 
and Archangel is nothing short of perfection. I, I, I really, I, if you have been listening to me or watching my channel for a really long time, you know how much I love this run. And if you have not read this, you owe it to yourself to pick it up. He makes Deadpool the sympathetic sad face clown. He makes Deadpool to be the heart of the team. Like, out of all the characters on the team, Deadpool is the heart of the team here. That is how you know this team is in a really bad shape morally when you first kick things off. As the story goes on, characters get added in and taken out, but it's really, really fascinating, and the whole thing is an exploration of what happens when our choices that we make come back and bite us in the ass. That's it, folks. Why don't you let me know down below in the comment section what your favorite X-Men run is of all time please 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 let me know in the comments section i really like hearing back from you guys you can follow me on facebook and twitter those are going to be in the description below you can also order these books in the description as well and if you use those amazon links below i get a cut out of it doesn't come out of your wallet comes out of amazon's i love you guys have a great day